Yahweh Shah Brakti Hawa Brakata Yahweh Shah Brakti Hawa Brakata Yahweh Shah Baha Sham Rakakwadash The honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching the truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled The Importance of Melanin. Lord will you are edifying also elder Atazawam of um GMS Mississippi posted this in our camp chat. Let's see if I can get it to play. Than gold is that melanin our people are voluntarily eradicating. Wake up. Melanin is more expensive than gold right now per gram. Four hundred and sixty-three dollars a gram. You see, you see what I'm saying? So look, check this out. So four hundred six. You have one hundred and fifty trillion cells in your body. Each trillion cells in your body have melanin particles and melanin fragments in it. You are a walking. Yeah, boy. Brazilianer. God damn. So, so look. So and now you, it makes you, sense why we coming up missing. We coming up missing, it? and we missing the organs that have most of the melanin in it. You have more melanin in your heart and in your mm -hmm. internal organs than you have in your skin, and they are taking it, man. That's why you see we are missing. Where, where is all the black men going? Have y'all ever googled the statistics of how many black women Just get abducted it. and they never find them a year? Like y'all should whip out y'all phones did. and start looking up this stuff, man. It will blow your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just yeah, start start testing what I'm saying. Black women, this coming up missing worldwide, and then they're turning up with their organs missing. Black men turning up missing worldwide, and then when they turn when they turning them up, they they don't even have their organs. And also, video was used for fair use purpose only. Melanin provides pigmentation to your skin, eyes, and hair. Also from another Google search, melanin also plays an important biological role by providing protection against damage from the sun. So who lack melanin? So-called white people based on the lineage of their fathers, right? Who are Edomites, according to biblical doctrine, according to the truth. Case in point, Genesis, the fourth chapter. And this is going into after Cain murdered able for submitting to the most high a righteous sacrifice genesis 4 and 14 behold you have driven me out this day from the face of the earth and from your face shall i be hid the most high's face meaning he will never receive the holy spirit right and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that find me shall slay me. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slay Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord Yahweh set a mark on Cain, lest any finding him should kill, should kill him. Right? When we investigate Mark, according to the Hebrew, it's a waf, a waf, which means a distinguishing mark, meaning Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah stripped him from his melanin. He took his melanin from him. And that's the reason why he looks the way he looks. He's a clean leper. Okay. Um, let's go into Genesis chapter 25. Now, according to biblical doctrine, you have a concept known as reincarnation, which means re back 
carnation, flesh. So what is back into the flesh? Your spirit. And this is how we also know that Cain came back as Esau. Genesis 25 and 22. And the sons struggled together within her, Rebekah. And the sons were Jacob and Esau. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord Yahweh. And the Lord Yahweh said unto her, two nations are in your womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from your bowels. And from this perspective... The Israelites are a spiritual people and the Edomites are a non-spiritual people. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. The Israelites are stronger than the Edomites, right? The Israelites has melanin. The Edomites don't. And the elder shall serve the younger. So the Edomites, right? will serve us in the kingdom of Absalakia, the kingdom of ever, in the kingdom of heaven. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first, meaning the elder, right, came out red, all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. Meaning what? Esau, Aishashua, which means wasted away as he, meaning you can see his blood vessel through his skin because he lacked pigmentation, right? He wasn't hairy, no. But when you compare his skin complexion to a red hairy garment, you can see his blood vessels through his skin. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau, Ashashua, meaning wasted away. Right? And after that came his brother out and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. Numbers 12 and 1. And Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. And they said, Has the Lord Yahweh indeed spoken only by Moses? Has he not spoken also by us? And the Lord Yahweh heard it. Now the man, Moses, was very meek above all the men that were on the face of the earth meaning he was humble. And the Lord Yahweh spoke suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron and unto Miriam, Come out, you three, unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord Yahweh came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord Yahweh, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all my house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of the Lord Yahweh shall, be, shall he behold. Wherefore then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? 
and the anger of the Lord Yahweh was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, meaning what? The Most High stripped her from her pigmentation. She lacked melanin, white as snow, and this is how Esau looked, and this is how Cain looked as well. And Aaron looked on Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beg you, lay not the sin on us, meaning to look like so-called white people who lack melanin, who don't have pigmentation. That's a sin. And that's coming from the high priest Aaron. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beg you, lay not the sin on us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Proverbs 3 and 33. The curse of the Lord Yahweh is in the house of the wicked. The wicked are the Edomites. Hence Malachi 1 and 4. And what's the curse? They don't have pigmentation. But he blessed the habitation of the just. Jeremiah 14 and 2, Judah mourns and the gates thereof language, they are black unto the ground, meaning dark skin, meaning the Jews have pigmentation and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Revelation 1 and 13, going into the appearance of Yahweh Shah. Let's start at 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So Yahweh Shah is dark skinned. And of course, by default, he has melanin and his voice as the sound of many waters. Daniel 7 and 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit. The ancient of days is referring to the Most High, Yahweh, whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His, strong, his throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. And according to Hebrews, the first chapter, Yahweh Shai is the expressed image of the Most High. Meaning, Yahweh is dark skinned. Okay. Song of Songs, 1 and 5. And this is Solomon. I am black, but comely, O you daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Look not on me, because I am black, because the sun has looked on me. My mother's sons were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard have I not kept. King Solomon had melanin, right? Job 30 and 30. My skin is black on me. 
and my bones are burnt with heat. Job had melanin. Okay. Lord will, you are edified, Shalom.